the shocking bond of sisterhood was shattered when Elisaveta Dubrineva, 22, turned on her younger sister, Stefania, 17, and took her life in a brutal and senseless act of violence. The close relationship the sisters shared, as portrayed to those around them, only added to the shock and horror of the tragedy. As authorities delve into the circumstances surrounding Stefania's death, those closest to the sisters are left to mourn and confront the idea of a sibling committing such a heinous act. The memory of Stefania's death will forever be a chilling reminder of the evil that can exist even within the tightest of bonds. Before we start, if you find this video fascinating, then at the end, please drop it a like and let me know what you thought about the case. It helps the channel. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe for more. Thank you. For years, Elisaveta had fixated on her younger sister's image, desperately trying to mimic Stefania's every move. From her hairstyle choices to her makeup routines, even the colour lipstick she wore, they were very close and very loving. But as Stefania turned 17 and began to bask in the limelight, attracting the attention of men and securing modelling opportunities, Elisaveta's admiration devolved into an all-consuming, seething envy. And then, in a moment of utter darkness, she reached a breaking point so heinous it shook the very foundations of their relationship. Stas Betaski, a local celebrity from St. Petersburg, knew Stefania for about two years and said that she was a modest and attractive girl who participated in his shows. The news of her passing left Bartesky in shock. Despite whispers, about her involvement in the sordid world of adult entertainment and streetwalking, he strongly denied these rumours. Stefania was never involved in it, he said, nor adult entertainment. She simply tried to boost her career in modelling. Stefania captured her final nude picture on the eve of her death. It was captioned with, Happy Defender of the Motherland, a salute to the men she professed to love. Stefania had an older boyfriend called Alexei Fativ, who at the time was 41. They met when he employed her as a model on photo shoots. Both sisters were at his apartment, partying, just the three of them. They were said to be having a great time, but during the evening, they had ran out of alcohol, so Fativ went to the shop to get some more leaving the sisters alone in the St. Petersburg apartment. Now this is where the gruesome acts begin. What started as a disagreement quickly escalated into a bloodbath as Elisaveta, fueled by substances and seething with jealousy, flew into a rage that knew no bounds. With merciless precision, she plunged the knife into her sister's body again and again, leaving 189 wounds on Stefania's head, neck, torso, arms and legs, puncturing her vital organs and cutting off her right ear. Elisaveta even gouged her sister's eyeballs out. No one other than the two sisters can truly know why this attack began, but afterwards, Stefania was left to bleed out. Her dying breaths echoing through the apartment. Surrounded by the sister, she thought she could trust, but now fighting for her life. All the while, Elisaveta is just watching on with a blank expression. The aftermath of the tragedy was almost as chilling as the crime itself. Fatih arrived at home, and he was met with the grisly sight of Stefania's mangled remains. As he was taken aback by the horror of which he was witnessing, Elisaveta had decided she needed to flee. With quick thinking, Fatih was able to apprehend her before she could escape the bloody scene. 
I can only imagine what must have been going through his mind during this point. He literally just went to get some wine and returned to this. She was then detained by authorities for the horrific killing, but was sent for compulsory psychiatric treatment, where she spent two years. In 2019, she was deemed fit to stand trial, and she was charged with the most heinous of crimes, murder with particular cruelty. In the court, Elizaveta was an emotionless statue, her movements contained within a glass box, her shackles clinking with each shift. The prosecution spoke of the sister's relationship and their love captured in photographs, but their words echoed with certainty. There are photographs of both sisters hugging each other, but there is no doubt that the elder sister envied the younger one, prosecutors said. They continued, she scoffed at her sister, causing her to endure excruciating pain because of her dislike, gouging out her sister's eyes. Despite the possibility of 25 years in prison, her sentence was ultimately reduced to just 13 years. Some may feel this is a mere fraction of the time she deserved for the brutal murder of her own sister. A video shows the expressionless Elizaveta being handcuffed in a glass court cage before being led away to start her sentence. The tragedy of the sisters echoed with a haunting familiarity for those who are close to them. Their aunt, Ekaterina Dubrineva, has memories. She says sends shivers down her spine. She said it was a shocking tragedy that will never be forgotten. My blood turns to ice. These poor children are not guilty in their gruesome childhood and in all their unhappy life, which unfortunately ended for Stefania. Both the sisters had spent time in orphanages as children. Stefania was raised in one, but escaped aged 15 and went on the run for three months. Their mother's response to the crime was to stand by Elizaveta and pointed the finger at Stefania's older boyfriend. Their mother claims Elizaveta's memory, shrouded in darkness for so long, has finally been cleared, revealing the truth behind the actions of Fativ. Elizaveta recounts the story of a twisted love affair between Fativ and Stefania. Jealousy, fueled by nude photographs she had done in the past, revealing the true nature of his malevolence. And to put it mildly, her mother said, Stefania was not loyal to him. This was to be the final nail in the coffin for their doomed relationship. Despite Elizaveta's allegations, the authorities have stated that Fativ is not a suspect in the case, but rather a witness. Fatih himself has vehemently denied any involvement in Stefania's death, speaking out publicly on a Russian television talk show, which also included the sister's mother. He claims to have stumbled upon Stefania's gruesome, mutilated body after a trip to purchase wine, and only detained Elizaveta to prevent her from fleeing before turning her over to the police. On this show, the mother physically attacked Fativ and scratched his face. The question of Elizaveta's reliability as a witness is a complicated one, given the conflicting accounts of those who knew her. While some reports suggested she was prone to erratic behavior and had a history of psychotic treatment, others described her as being calm and collected. This disparity raises questions about her stability, but you can understand a mother standing by her child, no matter what, even if her accounts cannot be trusted. But in no way, in my opinion, was Fativ involved in the murder. The sudden and brutal nature of the murder leads one to believe that Stefania and Fativ may not have been aware of the extent of Elizaveta's disturbed state. It is a chilling thought that someone seemingly normal can turn on their own kin in an instant, leaving behind a trail of devastation. The bond between sisters is meant to be unbreakable, 
But in this shocking case, it proved to be the very thing that drove one to commit the ultimate betrayal. This dark chapter in the family's history is a haunting reminder of the evil that can lurk within the shadows of even the closest of relationships. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay sane.